All right, guys, here we go. Uh, one of our, uh, someone we've been watching from afar, our main man, Anthony Romero, uh, undefeated lightweight. My man, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. It's uh, it's fight week, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. There's nothing like it, right? Like yeah. uh, there's only a couple buzzwords. I love the word trilogy in combat sports. Uh, fight week, that it's up there. Uh, it's a big one, man. Uh, LFA, 96, UFC fight pass. Uh, how amped, how excited, uh, that generic fight week question for you. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm very, very excited. Uh, I'm like I said, I've and many times before I, that uh, I'm excited I get to fight, and not a lot of people are, are fortunate at this time to uh, to get a fight due to what's going on in the world. Um, so I'm, I'm very fortunate and very happy. Yeah, very true, and that's kind of. Um, so I saw that you had an opponent change. Do you know that's is that why did, did your opponent maybe get COVID? Um, I, I don't know the exact details. I heard he he got hurt. Um, okay. but, uh, I'm not going to speak for him. If he does interviews, he can talk for himself. Right, right. I just know that he can't make it and I uh, have a new opponent. So, yeah. Um, uh, you know, in a way, very lucky. Cause like you said, a lot of stuff's going on. I saw that this is your third fight in 2020, which is uh great. Not a lot of guys are getting fights, especially, um, you know, you're right there fighting on the Dana White contender series. I see the shirt. Um, that's kind of, I want to hit on that. It's so, it, to me, the Contender Series is the best two hours of all of MMA. There's nothing like it. It's like the Super Bowl and the NFL draft in one night. It's like the biggest fight of your life, and then you can get drafted to the UFC. Tell me, take us, uh, the fans, to have that feeling that you win on the biggest stage but not get the contract. It's like you almost feel bad winning in a way. Take us through that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's, it's a weird thing to win a fight but not get the end goal or the end result yeah. that, you, that you expected. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy with, with my win and it, I feel like it was a dominant win. It wasn't just, uh, uh, holding the guy down and, and then, uh, getting a contract and like that. Um, so I, I felt like I showed a great display of striking, grappling, um, great footwork, great cardio, um, against a tough guy too. It wasn't just uh, any bum that they put on the show. And, um, I, I feel like a lot of people were expecting him to win um due to his team and and the people around him um having people in the ufc so people were really expecting him to to win and and for me to come up with the upset uh it was something something special and a dream come true for sure and do you think long run uh you're gonna look back on and be like hey this was maybe good for me dude you're still 23 years young uh, i saw you got a lot of work in the last couple of years but do you think you know, maybe even after just this LFA win and LFA is churning talent. Uh, they are literally sending tons of people in the UFC. Do you think maybe in 2021, this might be beneficial long-term long run for you in your career? Uh, I, I would hope so. Um, I know everything okay. happens for, for a reason. Yep. Um, I, I can't say for sure that if I win this in a dominant fashion that I'll be in the UFC. So my goal is just to control uh, what I can and, and make weight. Uh, win the fight and uh, and go on from there, and then whatever happens happens. Um, so I just uh, just focus on that, and and uh, it's inevitable I'll get there one day. Um, to say when I'm not sure, uh, but hopefully soon. How did you get connected with L LFA? Was it uh, your management? Uh, was it just were you really concentrating on fighting on UFC Fight Pass? I talk to a lot of fighters and they like, it's almost mandatory. They're like, they tell their agents or their game, whatever it is. Hey, I want to be on fight pass. Cause it seems, let's just be honest. UFC fight pass. They watch it. It seems like they have your archives. It's, it's just a, a nice bridge to fight for the UFC one day. Yeah. I, I like it a lot. Um, it's really cool to be on a, a network like that. Um, being able to go back and look at my fights uh, pretty easy and, and people can find it pretty easy instead of finding an individual link. Uh, and a website you have to pay with your credit card and all that. So right. um, a, a lot of people like this, and I, I like it as well. Uh, it wasn't any uh, specific pick. I, I just wanted to get one more fight in this year um, just to kind of, I guess you could say, dust myself off from that last performance and kind of prove why I deserve to be in the UFC and that I can do even better than that that performance that uh, that I had in August. Very true. Uh, dude, I I thought your performance was awesome as well. Uh, it's just one of those things. Sometimes uh, a couple other people have like that standout knockout and it's like they're just so adamant about trying to have that finish, which is, you know, it's tough, man. Like, uh, you know, like I'm going to bring up another football analogy. Like the Chiefs, they won this past weekend. 
but they didn't knock out their opponent. Like they still got a win on the road against a good team. It, it still counts. It counts yeah. in the record book yeah. as a win. So it's tough to knock out people. It's tough to stop people, especially like you said, a tough opponent. So, um, but I thought it was a great performance by you. I kind of want to transition to something with the contender series. And now it looks like the ultimate fighters coming back. Uh, you know, with you, I'm a little bit older than you. I grew up watching The Ultimate Fighter live. I used to love those shows, the team. Seems like it had more animosity built into it. Like I said, I'm a huge Contender Series fan. Uh, do you think, are you uh, pumped for the idea that The Ultimate Fighter is coming back and maybe it's another avenue to bring more fighters in? Or are you just, you know, you're more really locked in uh, in your career? Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, I'm kind of focused on on – on myself, uh, kind of bettering myself. Uh, it's, it's not my my weight class or anything like that, so I, I'm not too too focused on it. Um, but it is pretty cool because I uh, I train with uh, with Aaron Jeffrey, uh, and he's doing uh, really really well right now in, Love the, that kid. in the middleweight division. So I believe he uh, he's looking to to try out for that, uh, and that that'd be awesome for him. So um, so yeah, that'd be a, a way to get into the UFC for sure for him. Um, but yeah, for myself, just kind of focusing on, on what I can and, and that's, uh, this fight, uh, on Friday. Uh, and real quick back to Aaron, uh, Aaron's been on the show before, uh, it should be the other way around that the ultimate fighter should be blessed to have Aaron on the show. Aaron's a top end prospect. He is one of the best middleweights in the world, not in the UFC on any platform. Uh, Aaron's an absolute stud. So yeah. if he's on that show that he would be a heavy favorite, I would think. And, um, you know, sometimes it's good to be on those shows. You get a ton of uh, eyes, a ton of followers. I think it's going to be on ESPN Plus. So, like, you get a lot of eyes on you. It's a almost a better way to uh, catapult yourself into the UFC. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I said, um, I- I'd be very, very happy for him to get on that show. Uh, we've been training for for a while, even before uh, training at Niagara Top Team. Uh, so a few years, and uh, we're good friends and. And uh, yeah, I'd be very happy and very, uh, very proud to have him be on that show. Um, 2020, it's been a hard year for a lot of people. The last four main events in a row for the UFC have all been scrapped due to uh, COVID. Um, how have you been through it? How hard of a year has it been for you uh, training and working with people? And uh, just kind of give us a bow on your 2020. Um, yeah, it's 2020, it went fast, actually. I thought it would go slower being stuck at home and everything um but but everything's been good uh i've been training uh like small group training and all that uh for my fights and and everything's been good uh had a a few losses and like uh family members and stuff uh from covid um but uh but other than that everything's been good um my my media family is all healthy and everything so uh, um i'm very blessed to have another another opportunity uh to fight again like i said earlier and I'm just excited to uh, to perform in, in front of a a big a big viewing. So, yeah, very true. Um, and we're very sorry to hear that, man. It's uh it's tough. Like, it's been very hard on a lot of people. Uh, I came down with COVID like three weeks ago. Uh, and it just it knocked me out. Uh, for yeah. multiple weeks, it's uh, hard on a lot of people. So I'm um, very happy uh, that you're good and healthy and all of that. Cannot wait for your future. Thursday night UFC Fight Pass LFA 96, a humongous fight. Um, I would love your take. There's like four or five things, really topical, trendy MMA stuff, combat sports stuff. Love your take. Uh, past weekend, did you watch the Roy Jones Jr., Mike Tyson, Jake Paul uh, fights? <laughs> I, I did. I, I mainly watched uh, the the main event, the Tyson and, and Roy. Uh, yeah. Fight. Um, that was really cool because I never actually watched Tyson fight live. I'm a little bit uh, young for that. But uh, but I, I wanted to be able to say that I, I watched him fight. Um, I can't imagine. He, he's very good in that fight, and I can't imagine – watching him in his prime uh it would have been uh, amazing like live um so it was pretty cool and pretty cool to, sh- to show others that you can do th- things doesn't matter what age you are yeah and especially the thing i took about away from the most one yeah he looked tremendous he moved fantastic for his age his footwork was great but uh everything his uh interviews before interviews afterwards and, you know, I did. I grew up on Mike Tyson. I was, you know, I'm a Mike Tyson. I'm a huge Roy Jones Jr. fan. I grew up in the 90s. And it's just amazing to see. He was such a, a bad boy and a bad guy and how gracious he was for the interviews. I thought he was tremendous. I thought he did so good for his name and his, uh, you know, his his rep out there. I thought Mike Tyson with a huge win this past weekend. It was great for him. 
Oh yeah, it was uh, a little different than uh, how he was before. Yeah, uh, which is is pretty cool. I, I feel like he got most of his viewers from from or most of his fans from his fighting style, of course, knocking people out, but also his like aggressiveness on the mic. Um, and uh, to see it a little a little bit different now, um, it, it's it's awesome as well. Like he's he's very uh, well spoken still, and and uh, I'm still a huge fan of of Mike Tyson. Absolutely. Um, and you being a lightweight, I would love your take. Three humongous lightweight things going on. One, Habib Nurmagomedov retiring. Two, next month, January, Conor McGregor and Dustin at 155. And then in a, we're two weeks away or less than two weeks away. Tony Ferguson and Charles Oliveira love that fight for the fans and us fighter. Like that's that's the fight. I would love your take on all three of those. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Habib, uh, him retiring. I, uh, I I love watching him, him fight. It's such a, a dominant style, and uh, I'm I'm a huge fan of of his his work. Um, him retiring, I, I I would hope that he kind of retires in in um, in a good way. Like I feel like he doesn't have to fight, um, but the other side of me wants to see him fight. So it's a hard thing to uh, kind of digest. Um, when someone says they retire, I feel like they they should retire and they right. they, they kind of make their point. And Habib, I feel like he's done um enough in his career to kind of be happy and and live the rest of his life with his family and and other side businesses i, I heard he bought a promotion um and, and all that stuff so uh i, I feel like it'd be a good idea for him to kind of just retire and kind of enjoy life at the top um connor and dustin that's super exciting fight I, I, i'm really excited to see that because um especially that that last fight that they had it was such a long time ago and right. uh, at a different weight class. So there's so many variables that, that change this fight up. And um, it's, it's tough to call the fight. I feel like Connor's going to take it again. Um, but uh, it, I feel it's going to be a little bit more of a war and, and maybe a, a decision this time. Uh, and then Ferguson, Oliveira, it's, uh, it was a little bit different. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think anyone was expecting that, that kind of fight. Um, I think people were thinking that Michael Chandler would fight um, Ferguson. Right, right. Uh, but th that's what we got, and I'm excited. It's a huge step for for Oliveira to take um, going up into the the top five of the lightweight division, and um, I'm just excited. I think uh, I think Ferguson still might take it, but uh, again, it's going to be another another war. Absolutely, my man. Um, here you froze up real quick. I'm going to bring you out and bring you back. In. It's 2020. It's what we do. Yeah. We're, we're uh, <laughs> I can see your face there. <laughs> Anthony, you hear me? I can still hear you. Yeah, I can see that my, my screen is black. I'm not sure what's uh Okay. Uh no biggie, man. Um <laughs> I think you're coming in. Um uh, here, I'll just go to me and we'll talk it through. We'll we'll make okay. it happen. Um back real quick to your Connor Dustin. One thing is I think it's gonna be a closer fight than what people think. I think in the last five years, I think Dustin has gotten better than Connor in a way. Connor's still great and is still the heavy favorite, but I think Connor McGregor um you know, I see him winning the fight, but I think Dustin has moved up the most in five years, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, the Tony and Charles fight, I love. Um, I, I'm really intrigued. That one, I'm, it's hard to pick, um, but it's it's wild. Like I said, you're frozen. I really wanted to ask one more question about you and LFA 96 coming up. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. we'll see. Maybe we have to go. But uh, Anthony, <laughs> man, I really appreciate your time. Uh, you can still hear me? I can still hear you, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, let me ask one more question for you. Um, So we do a lot of betting. Seems like betting and combat sports is getting really popular. And I don't know if, you know, if, if that's trendy to you or if you see it at all. But it looks like you're going to be a really heavy favorite coming into this fight. Um, Does that does that mess with you at all? Uh, when you hear people talking about, Hey, we're going to put money on you because you're such a heavy favorite. Does it bother you? Or are you just, you know, like I said, zoned in you and your career. It's a really vital fight. I think if you win this fight, I think 2021, you have UFC written all over it. Uh, does that do anything for you to be a heavy favorite? Um, it, it's cool. Numbers are numbers though. And uh, it's kind of old news now for me going through the contender series and, and getting a bunch of random messages of people saying, Oh, I, I bet, three weeks salary on you. I hope you win and, and all this stuff going at you. Um, yeah, it, it is a lot of pressure, but I feel like uh, the performance that I put on didn't really show the pressure and the the, the nerves that were, that were going through my mind. Um, so I, I feel like I can, I can perform even better um, knowing that that's still going on. Um, and yeah, I just kind of perform for, for the people that support me and, and myself. And, and um, that's kind of all I worry about. And, 
everyone else bet on me. That's a, a good choice. And, uh, <laughs> other than that, um, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. I like it. Absolutely, man. Um, like I said, yeah, you're frozen. Uh, but man, Anthony, we appreciate you, your time. It's 2020. We're just making it work. Right? Yeah, We're just yeah. making it work. We're like the UFC right now. We're putting on great shows. Um, hey, have a healthy weight cut, Anthony. Um, you know, good skill in there Thursday night. And then we'll talk to you after your win, 9-0. and Like I said, 2021, uh, UFC bound easily. Anthony Romero, my man, appreciate you and your time. Thank you so much. It was uh, great talking to you. Later, brother. Thank you.